Hey there, everyone. Before the break, I asked you to guess which animal the Razine Zoo would be bringing in for us headed into Easter. Let's see if you got that right. First of all, the human companions. Beth Hydorn is the executive director. Asia Summers is the one, uh, one of the zoo's education managers. And who's this right here? This here is Myrtle, our desert tortoise. Who got that right? <laughs> <laughs> Why did you bring in a turtle uh, heading into Easter? Go ahead. So she's here because we don't have a hair. So mm. we're thinking tortoise and the hair theme, and she is our tortoise. She also <laughs> does lay eggs, which rabbits do not do, which fits with our event extravaganza. I think that this was <laughs> a genius jump. <laughs> this is perfect. How old is Myrtle? And what, what kind of animal uh, exactly is this? Where is it from normally? And I noticed that the uh, her toenails are, are only slightly longer than mine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she is a 32-year-old desert tortoise. So she is native to the southeastern U.S., so she is from the U.S., mm -hmm. and those long claws actually help her dig for food. Her favorite food at the zoo is dandelions, mm -hmm. so we don't have a lot of weeds around because the keepers <laughs> always pull them to feed to her in little bouquets, but she does yes. love to dig for any of those roots, things like that, fun stuff. So that's why she has those long nails. Right, so speaking of searches at the zoo, tell me about this extravaganza event that you guys have coming up. Yes, thank you for asking. Uh, it is a, a tried and true tradition uh, to have an Easter event at the zoo. Yes. So extravaganza is a 9 to 4.30 that day. We have a little bit different take on um, egg collecting, uh, the Easter egg hunts and all of mm -hmm. that. So we have what we call cluck cluck doors. And they ha we have six of those scattered throughout the zoo and that's yes. how the kids have to gather their eggs. So once the, people, once the kids enter the zoo, they'll get a bag and then they can go around and find the doors yes. and then knock on them and there'll be somebody very nice behind them with bunny ears on uh, giving them some candy. Almost like trick-or-treating. Almost like trick-or-treating, but it's a little bit safer than throwing a bunch of eggs out into a field and say, go for the egg. Yeah. You know, <laughs> we prefer exactly. to have everyone safe and sound. Let's take a look at the event information. Uh, when is this coming up? Let's take a look at the date here. Uh, Saturday, April 15th, yep. 2017, 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. So mm -hmm. do you... For parents, they don't have to show up right on the dot. It's not like the kids go running. This is more of a relaxed sort of thing. It's, a rela it's all day. So there will be something behind all those cluck cluck doors the entire day. We also have um, uh, crafts for the kids to do. We've got some uh, outside businesses that are mm -hmm. coming in to share some of their stuff and have other giveaways. Mm -hmm. And it's the Easter Bunny is going to make it, I, I understand. And so I've got a call the other day and I said, absolutely, come on over. Great. And so there'll be pictures that kids can take with the, the with the Easter Bunny. And it's just going to be a beautiful day. Oh, we yeah. also have uh, cookie decorating. Mm -hmm. Owen H is very nice and gave us a whole bunch Love of cookies. Em. Love their food. Yeah. Yeah. And if the kids aren't into the whole Easter thing, they can check out animals like Myrtle. Like Myrtle and Tell all me a little the bit animals. about Myrtle. Yep. What, what is she like uh, character wise as she does her little uh, walk across <laughs> our table here? Does she have a personality to her? Absolutely. All of our animals have personality from our cockroaches all the way up to our primates. She is, as I said, she's 32 years old or 31 years old. So she's going to be 32 in about two months. She's our oldest education animal and she's been doing this longer than I have. Mm -hmm. So she knows how she wants the day to go. She knows where she wants to go. She knows what she wants to do and she doesn't like to clean up. So we're lucky today she's not covered in her sweet potato breakfast yes. like she is most times. Well, you said that she lays eggs and that brings us to our next thing. Mother's Day. Let's bring up the graphic. The Mother's Day brunch. Uh, that's another uh, really nice uh, event it seems for a family. Tell me a little bit about that. Part. Absolutely. It's from 11 to 1230 and um, it is up. We hold it in our pavilion area. It's a catered breakfast and then kids they will have activities so they get to make something for mom mm. while they're there and just in case they forgot to pick something yes. up at the store. Yes. Um, and actually they also get to feed giraffes. Wow. Uh, North Shore Bank is that one is, really of, is cool. our sponsor of our giraffe encounters and so they'll get to feed a giraffe. They get their we get a family photo mm -hmm. so that they get those as well. Just kind of get the whole family around mom and it's last year was a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of people that were very happy and a lot of people that walked in saying, oh, can we sign up? So it will sell out early. Yeah, tickets just went on sale. So we need people to, to sign up and it's really a great day. You get to spend it with mom at the zoo and you get to see our mom animals uh, taking care of some of their babies. Yeah. Tell me which of your animals are moms. Uh, like how many of them do you 
do you give them gifts or anything during <laughs> the day? Or well, sometimes we'll, we'll give them what we call enrichment. Yes. So our Tamarins um, had babies. They had twin babies in February, and that's the second year in a row that we've had Tamarin babies. They're a small primate mm -hmm. in our main building, Vanishing yes. Kingdom, and so they will be taking care of their babies on that particular day. And we just never know what may or may not be happening at the zoo with other babies uh, as we get towards Mother's Day. But it's really about the moms who take care of their babies. Yes, so. yes. Yeah. Okay, but Easter is going to be the first event. Easter is our first event. Getting and then the Mother's eggs, Day. Yep, bringing them the eggs, candy yep. out of the shells. Yep. This sweet little creature in her shell. <laughs> it seems she like will be there. You can come she'll meet be Myrtle. there. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. Well, thank you both for being on. I really Jacob, do appreciate it. Thank you so much. It. Thank you so and, much. Uh, just, I hope to have you back with another little critter like this. The last one was really shy. It didn't even come out of the pouch. I so know. This, well, we're, well, we've told them now star. it's Jacob. It's yeah. Jacob. you got to go say hi. And now they're all clamoring to see the be the next animal on okay. stage. Okay, great. Thank you. One other thing I'd like to put out there, if you have an idea for a Racine and Me episode, I'd love to hear from you. Send an email to Racine and Me at CBS58.